Welcome back to Decentralized News. In today's news story, we are looking at uh, a Coinbase, uh, former Coinbase product manager who's actually been charged with uh, tipping off uh, con co-conspirators who are obviously relatives of his in this instance about tokens that were about to be listed on uh, Coinbase Exchange. If you are in the space, you probably have heard the rumors about this before this story did surface before and uh, now it's actually confirmed that uh, Ishan Wahi who's a former product manager at uh, Coinbase was indicted for uh, two charges on uh, wire fraud and uh, also two charges of uh, wire fraud conspiracy for allegedly tipping off his brother and his friend to make trades based on his insider knowledge while he allegedly used his access to highly confidential information around which crypto tokens would be listed and when the news would be announced to tip off his brother and friend who would then use multiple anonymous uh, ethereum wallets to then purchase large quantities of the tokens before the prices spiked on the news if you know anything about this Typically, we, we, would, we would see in the space that when a new coin got listed on a major exchange, the price generally would shoot up. So, of course, if you knew that this was going to be the case, a new token was going to be announced in terms of a listing on a particular exchange. If you bought that before, due to that insider knowledge, then you could definitely make some real good profits on that. According to a press release that was released... Uh, you know, they said that uh, the two actually took uh, positions in at least six tokens before Coinbase uh, announced in April of this year that they would be listing um, them on the exchange. And uh, so, I mean, of course, the DOJ said that the scheme had generated approximately about 1.5 million in gains. The DOJ also acknowledged uh, a Twitter account that is well known in the um, crypto community, likely referring to Kobe, who actually identified this suspicious activity on Coinbase. And uh, the DOJ also reported that when Coinbase's uh, director of security operations contacted Wahi in May, asking him to attend a meeting regarding the suspicious activity, Wahi decided to purchase a one-way flight to India in an attempt to flee the country. He was then stopped by law enforcement. Uh, each of the charges, um, four against himself, Wahi, and two against his brother and his friend, carry a maximum sentence of uh, 20 years. And the U.S. attorney for the press or the Southern District of New York, in this case, stated in the press release that today's charges, referring to that day, uh, that they indicted them that uh, where the further reminder that Web3 is not a law free zone and fraud is fraud and uh, whether it occurs on the blockchain or on Wall Street. So let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, is he getting his just due for this uh, very bad activity? I mean, this is completely bad when you're manipulating uh, trades, especially inside the trading in cryptocurrency is very rife. And uh, this is something that definitely needs to be tackled head on. And I think authorities taking such a stance would actually just encourage uh, people or at least, you know, disincentivize people working at these uh, centralized platforms to not do uh, insider trading because that is overall bad for all of us, overall bad for the markets. Let's have free markets and let things work out or pan out the way they are supposed to naturally and uh, not manipulate markets. Let me know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to check out links in the description to my books, Tokenized Trillions, Blockchain Applied. Join our Telegram Discord server. Appreciate you. I'll see you in the next piece.